Alex, you know, you know what? I've never, I've never told you this. Okay. What? I really like talking. Yeah. Sometimes I, I like, I sit on this cast and I just like talking about random stuff, and I like having it like. That's now why we created it. Now, <laughs> like now we're sitting here brisky. You know, we're just talking about you know crap, you know, just random things, and I love that. Mm-hmm. I now I love it. I love you, Alex. Yeah, I love you too, bro. But yeah. <laughs> is that is that what whiskey? That's, that's has? You didn't need to have whiskey for any any genuine no, I think, feelings to come out. Like, have all the alcoholic drinks. Like I you know I've go to I go Cheers, to bro. Pub, Cheers, bro. You know, like, I've gone to the pub and it's all like so. It's like chaotic. You know, there's noise. <laughs> And it's like when you got whiskey and you're just talking, it's like the best times. It's when you f- you get down to the business. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, I appreciate everyone. I appreciate you. Appreciate the Jowlings. So, appreciate James. I just I love I love talking on this cast. It's great. Yeah. And it's it's crazy because it's taken so long for like me to actually like fully get into doing Jow and like. And the fans love it, man. So. In actually enjoying just talking about random stuff and having the guys to talk about crazy topics, yeah. and hard topics. It's, it's just quite like, freeing in a way. It's, it's like, like a time capsule as well. Back to the earlier question, it's like... Oh, about... Should we pause this and then come back in a sec because the camera's yeah, just about to go out? Yeah. You're going back to what that the Jar fan said earlier about if you were teleported back to the earlier episode, it's like, we're so different and it's taken so long for me to actually like have a voice. Because to be honest, early episodes, I didn't really have a voice. I was kind of just a person there for no reason, to just to fuck it up. But now it's like... We're all fully into it. We all can. We all have a voice, and that's just crazy. Yeah. I, I heard somewhere that if you have a podcast, it takes about hundred episodes for you to maybe start getting good at it, and we're only on hundred and fifty yeah. six. <laughs> it's because it's like unconsciously you have to just get so natural at doing it. It's like now mm-hmm. we just talk. You know, the it's nothing there. to us now. No. Yeah, but back in the early days, it was just like you're so. You're actively thinking about the camera being there, and like the way you should talk, the way you should like, f- yeah, ha- form yourself. But now it's like we're just us on the cast, you know. Yeah. Well, the the thing that always was a struggle to begin with was kind of creating or thinking of something that would spark like a conversation. There isn't just like one minute or less of discussion, then it's like silence. Yeah. And we had we really struggled with that. That's why. That's why I was always like doing dumb shit because it was like. That's Do why, something le random so the other so the yeah, cast has something to why, react it's to. It's why the cast was just chaos, because we just we didn't really know how to talk, mm-hmm. and that's why you know we had an episode where we were discussing like a koi. It's like yeah. it's dumb, but now it's like we routinely get into such a discussion. It's like time flies because we're just like actually just getting into like a really good topic, and it's yeah. like we just talk. No, I'm 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 glad there's been like an evolution. Yeah. You know. And, like, we started the worst possible way of no chairs, a mic, one mic. Mm-hmm. And it's, like, we've progressed with the setup. We've, like, actually, yeah. like, having this setup and being back then would be a waste of the setup. Yeah, like, exactly. To be honest. We were effectively like, toddlers crawling yeah. around on the floor. But now first. it's, like, we've got this nice setup. We've got proper, like, mics. It's and comfortable. It's like, <laughs> yeah. So then that goes with how we actually present ourselves and actually do these podcasts now. Yeah. It's it's such a natural way, and it's just like you can't rush into it. You mm. have to, you have to go through that period because that's just how long it takes. I know. Well, yeah, and it wasn't like a natural thing for me to start doing because um, whenever I've done something involving a mic, I've always been reading a script. Yeah, and it's and a totally different beast. And you you've come from that to being this like f- complete free flow, like. Mm-hmm. None of what we say or what we talk about is like planned. We don't think about what we're saying. No, we have very vague like ideas for topics. But I think that's such a like a thing we have, a very specific thing we have. Because if you look at other podcasts, it's so much more structured. Ours isn't. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's our like little point is that it can go anywhere, anytime. Well, uh, yeah, and that's depending on the cast or what's happened the last week. Like Like, it can just be a chaotic episode. Last week, cast was suddenly like an instant hard topic, Mm -hmm. Uh, and I could. And but then, then thirty minutes later, it was about my reviews that were like absurd, just ridiculous. And that's 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 such a unique comp thing that a lot of podcasts don't have because there's so many podcasts that are about games and it's all like, and I've played this. Well, because most of it, um, the advantage we have is we have the history. Yeah, all four of us have known each other for so long. Yeah, and that's the thing about a podcast. It's just like sometimes it's difficult to fully gauge with the people when they're it's like they're kind of new to each other. 
mm-hmm. well you know we're not you know yeah, I've yeah. known you since I was like a baby basically <laughs> so it's like we have that and that's crazy 